Resident Evil 3 Remake. I'm so happy that I have this collector's edition in my hands to unbox for you guys. And ever since that state of play announcement way back in December, uh, I just knew I had to get my hands on this one. It, the collection would not be complete if I didn't get this. I mean, can you just imagine if I bought the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition, but then a year later, I get the base game? It just wouldn't feel right. So, again, I'm very happy that I have this Collector's Edition here, which was an ordeal to get. Um, but anyways, like, I guess we can get started off with having a look at the front of the box here, where it says Resident Evil 3, and then Collector's Edition, and then Rated M for Mature, and developed by, or actually no, published by Capcom, but developed by a third-party studio. Not like with Resident Evil 2, where that was actually developed in-house at Capcom, but uh, I know this was developed by another studio. I, I forgot what the name was, but some of the members working at that studio used to work at Platinum Games. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I think they used to work at Platinum Games. So anyways, going off that tangent there, we got the front here, and the sides pretty much look all the same. And then at the top of the box here, we got the Stars logo. Like the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition, it had the RPD logo, or the Raccoon Police Department logo on the top. This one is the Stars uh, Raccoon Police Department logo. And at the back here, we see that it has a bunch of graphics here. It's face your fears. Joe Valentine's encounter with the unrelenting nemesis in this survival horror classic remake. It also also it includes Resident Evil Resistance, which to be honest, I'm probably not even going to play. Uh, I'll probably just play like one or two matches and just move on to the next game. Resident Evil Resistance was not what I was expecting. I mean, honestly, I would rather have an Outbreak HD remaster type treatment uh, game to come over to the PS4. It would be the perfect game to have remastered. I mean, with all the next-gen stuff that we have now compared to when we had it back in 2003, 2004, uh, that would be a dream come true. So Capcom, if you're watching this video, make sure you remaster Outbreak HD, even though, uh, what, what do I know? You're probably not going to do it. So it's a one-player game, uh, two to five network players, Online play optional, well, because it includes Resident Evil Resistance, and it's a 50 gigabyte minimum storage. It's PS4 Pro Enhanced, and what it includes in this collector's edition is the standard edition for Resident Evil 3, the Raccoon City double-sided map, digital double album soundtrack, an 11-inch Jill Valentine figure, collector's art book, and the star's item box packaging. So. Yeah, let's just gut this thing and see what it actually looks from uh, from the inside. All right, so it looks like there's a paper sleeve here that I'm gonna take out very carefully. All right, so with that slip cover off, uh, we get to see what this item box packaging looks like. And of course, it looks exactly like the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition item box packaging, except this one is in a different color, like almost a a rusted up brownish color and as you can see here's the front here's the sides the back and also the same stars logo that you see on the slip cover there that's uh, that's included with this collection edition so let's get to gunning this thing real quick all right, so when you take these two tabs out of here and rip that little clear sticker off of this uh, collector's edition, you lift this box up here, and it looks like there's two flaps here, and we have the standard edition of the game that we see first. If I can just take this out of the box, there it is packaging. The standard edition of the game. Uh, too bad it's not like a steel book, which uh, that's. I think that's being sold separately at Best Buy or some other retailers. Um, yeah, too bad it's not a steel book. That would have been pretty cool. But the standard edition of the game, right here. We also have a digital soundtrack voucher. What is hopefully a, a soundtrack of not only Resident Evil 3, but Resident Evil Resistance. So, digital soundtrack voucher included in the collector's edition. 
And then it looks like we also have a map of Raccoon City, which I actually opened up here real quick for you guys. So, this is what it looks like. If I could just set this correctly here. This is what the map looks like what the entire vicinity of Raccoon City looks like, so from this map here. And then on the back, flipping it over, there's also some advertisements uh, about Raccoon City, about some local stores, like the Toy Uncle, Umbrella Corporation, and also some advertisements for Fox Park, I Care, Garage, Pizza, and all that stuff, so this is really cool. I'm, I'm glad they included the map of Raccoon City. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. And then we get this really nice quality art book uh, that says Project N, which I'm guessing this is for Nemesis, Resident Evil 3. And then it looks like on the other side, it also says Project R, which is Resident Evil Resistance, of course. But just looking through it, I'm actually really happy this has an art book in here. I, I've looked through the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition art book recently. And very happy with the, the result of that. And this one, this one's pretty cool. I'd say it's about the same standard. And taking out all this packaging inserts here, uh, we got this really, really nice uh, Stars Raccoon Police Department Jill Valentine figure box here. Um, so right at the front says Stars. Raccoon City Police Department, Jill Valentine, Resident Evil 3, and then also at the top here, it says also the same thing, Star's logo. After just bumbling and fumbling around, uh, I can actually say that putting this figure together was a lot easier than uh, what I had to do with the Leon S. Kennedy figure from last year when I was unboxing the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition. And also to add on that, this is pretty high quality. I'd say the quality for this figure is is up there with the Leon figure. Um, except with the Leon figure, it's a little bit more detailed since he's got a little bit more on his costume with the belt and the vest and, and the holster and the gloves and the long sleeve and everything. But this is quite nice and uh, for a difference uh, with the base platform here, it doesn't say uh, Raccoon Police Department like the Leon figure. It says Stars for Raccoon Police Department. And then the emblem here is Joe Valentine and you can see her here holding the Glock and her little doohickey belt with all the gadgets and her holster, uh, actually two holsters, a uh, over the shoulder holster and a leg holster and her little combat boots here and the little necklace she's wearing and the flashlight on her holster and just her new design aspect overall which I honestly like her new design. I think it looks fucking great. It looks practical something for 1998 standards at, at when running around just getting chased by Nemesis, her outfit makes way more sense in this uh, appearance form. And that pretty much concludes today's unboxing video. If you guys enjoyed what you've seen here for the Resident Evil 3 Collector's Edition, make sure you like this video, dislike if you dislike it, and also subscribe and hit the bell button for more content like this in the near future. And comment down below on what your favorite moment from the original Resident Evil 3 was and why. And until then, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Stupid console gamer out.